the LGB20 user here, and today I'm going to show you guys Google Assistant on the LGB20. Um, I recently received the Google Assistant update on my B20 here, so I'm going to show you guys the features and whatnot. So to access the um, Google Assistant, all you got to do is hold on the home button here, and I'll say how can you help. Uh, you, you can go to settings, so you have settings first, uh, you can log into your Google account, what I have here, you can have a control, uh, your smart home devices like your thermostats and shit. I don't have any devices that are connected to it, why is you, uh, home control devices or, or room. Men's accounts, but, you know. Uh, you can do news, like, you can get news from different places, like, uh, BBC, ABC, Fox News, etc. You can add different. You can also customize it. Customize it anything you want here. There's a whole bunch of them here. That's your news thing. Uh, the day thing. I uh, ask you what um what your day is like. The weather, where commute, and all that. Oh, uh, and check those two things. Uh, you can get news. Nothing additional. So you can do that for your day, but you can change it, customize, customize it you want, you can add a shopping list. So if you, if you say, if you, if you like going grocery shopping and shit. I don't have anything right now. Uh, Google Assistant thing, Google Assistant, your assistant helps, your, your assistant helps answer your questions and get things done. Use green content. As as is Google to show you information related to what's on your screen when you hold down the home button or search by voice. Account language, uh, system language English. Okay, Google detection. I can't get the word. Um, I can't. I can't get. Uh, okay, Google to work. But I hope that will get fixed later on. I can't say okay, Google. Um, someone also has saying that they can't do it from the lock screen. I can't do it from from the lock screen either. So in order to access uh, Google Assistant, you you have to hold down the uh, home button to uh, get get to that. On the voice thing, you can have it hands free, like uh, Bluetooth speaker or uh, a Bluetooth or, or or wired headsets. Uh, you can uh, offline speak recognition. You guys can do that. Black offensive word like cuss word and shit. Bluetooth headset. You guys can do that. Down here, it's like personal, from, uh, personal info, payments, and my activity. I will not be showing those. I will not be showing you guys those. Got the sound up a little bit. What's the weather like in Washington, D.C.? Currently in Washington, it's 59 degrees Fahrenheit and clear. Tonight, it's predicted to be 66 and clear with periodic clouds. So, um, that's the weather, so you can ask anything you want. So I asked, well, what's the weather like in, uh, Washington, D.C.? It said it's 59, um, and all that. But you can, you can also add, you can also add, you can also ask additional questions, like, what about this weekend? What about tomorrow? Always use Celsius or Fahrenheit. What about this weekend? There will be showers there Friday, with a high of 49 and a low of 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Saturday and Sunday, it'll be sunny with highs around 39 and lows around 23. You can also do other things as well. You click on the three dots, you can ask, What can you do? Uh, the Google Assistant thing for the phone, it can uh, solve it wholly or whatever the hell that is. Facts about all. Uh, you click the down arrow, it'll give you more information about it. Find answers. How far away is Kenya? That's these are these are the, just examples here. It help you find answers, and you can ask different things you want. Ask you when it's sunrise, when it's sunset, all that. When it's Hanukkah, blah blah blah. It will ask you to play music. You can play anything you want. Set reminders like uh, it will say show you reminder. I will set set reminders, show you reminders. So that you can. Tell you that you can say it to 
Uh, you, 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 you can tell it to do a mind. You, you, you can tell it to do things for you and stuff like that. You gotta set alarms like set alarm for like 8 a.m. or whatever. Tells you, you can wake up. He says, "Get what's the weather?" You say, "What's the weather? What's the temperature?" Well, I need an umbrella tomorrow. What's the weather like in Fahrenheit? What's the high today? How windy is it? What's the weather this weekend and all that? What's the weather in uh? Mayo Cash, whatever the hell that place is. Get the news. Like I said, you can ask what's the news and international news. What's the news? Tell me independent news, sports news, and other things. Manage your news sources. You can do that from settings. Get sports results. Tell me sports news. Here's the fast minute live. Who are the NBA standings? What are what are the NBA standings? What's the news about the MLB? What's the next basketball game? And you can ask about who are the Kings playing or who or whoever your team is, who are the Steelers playing or who won the Super Bowl and who all that shit. Find nearby places, you can find nearby uh, cinemas, you know, anything nearby like restaurants and stuff. You also get travel information. It says what's the status of the United Flight 930 and all that. And these are just examples here. Get translations. You can say good morning in Italian, or you can say anything you want and and uh, and have it translate to any language that you would want to. Like say hello, what's hello in Spanish and all that. You can make a call. You say call whoever. You can call anybody you want. You also do. You can also send text and, and also reply to text messages. And there's other commands there. You also send a uh, message. You can send a uh, email, a Viber message, a WhatsApp message, probably, probably Facebook message. You can say open up apps and stuff. So open Wi-Fi settings. Open Jimmy Oliver's YouTube channel. Post to Google Plus. Uh, send me a great wall of China on Wikipedia, post to Twitter and all that, and you also probably post to Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and, and other things probably, you know, uh, uh, yeah, search for Google, says you can search for the destination, search for facts about the uh, moon, search for my last socks, search for funny facts, set timers, you can also set a timer for like 15 minutes, an hour, cancel timers and shit like that. You uh, find personal stuff like like like, um, like share your emails or photos or uh, text and um, images and all that flights and other things. You also have fun with Google Assistant, so you can say I'm bored and it'll ask you to uh, tell you jokes and play trivia games and shit like that. Well, much shit here it says that's the thing of uh, that's. Let's start playing games. It says, let, "Let's play a game." It says, or you can say, "I'm bored." So say, "Let's say, let's play a game." So it says, "Let's play a game." Play trivia. Play a game. Whatever. Meet your assistant. You can ask your assistant about about themselves. You know, are you close to your family? How was your day yesterday? And all that crazy shit. You can navigate anywhere. Control your home. Set the time. Set the seventy two. Let me go back down there just real quick. And you also uh, set the center to uh, you can set the stem set the center to dim the lights, turn on the living room lights and all that, and turn as the lights on the kitchen. You also uh, you probably can pair Google Home with this probably. Who was Ben Roethlisberger? According to Wikipedia, Benjamin Todd Roethlisberger Sr., nicknamed Big Ben, is an American football quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers of the National Football League. Okay, I just asked a question about Big Ben. So you you can ask some more questions about how tall, how old is he? He's thirty five years old. Ben just turned thirty five last week, and all that. And ask about Big Ben uh, stats and how tall is he and all that net worth and other things. You can ask related things about what 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 uh, what about Tom Brady and all that. What about Aaron Rodgers? What about Peyton Manning and what can you do and all that? Um, 
Oh, I see his stats. Let's see the damn thing up. Here's a result from search. Take on his rookie year. Here's a summary from SB Nation Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger threw for 2,621 yards and 17 touchdowns against 11 interceptions in his rookie year, numbers topped by other rookie quarterbacks over the years. The Steelers' 15-1 to regular season record was the best in franchise history and that means his 2004 rookie year was really one for the ages. Yeah, so, um, he won Super Bowl 51. Super Bowl 51 was won by the New England Patriots. So that tells you that the Patriots won Super Bowl 51. As we all know, the first Super Bowl ever to go in, the first Bowl ever to go in overtime and shit. But I'm so pissed off about that Super Bowl, anyways. I, I am a Steelers fan, and I was going for the Falcons. I'm so pissed off about that Super Bowl. I'm bored. Boredom doesn't stand a chance against us. We can play some games. I can try to make you laugh, or I can surprise you with some random fun. Tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. Why are libraries so strict? They have to go by the book. Ha ha ha, funny, funny, funny. Do one more joke. What did the vinaigrette say to the refrigerator? Close the door, I'm dressing. We can play Lucky Trivia, Mad Libs, or Crystal Ball. I just added Lucky Trivia Sports, too. What do you want to try? Try uh, Crystal Ball. Try Crystal Ball. Here's a result from the web. Alright, that's not what I'm looking for. Play a game. We can play Lucky Trivia, Mad Libs, or Crystal Ball. I just added Lucky Trivia Sports, too. What do you want to try? Crystal Ball. Okay, let me find an appropriately weird tablecloth. If you can, get closer. Closer? Yes. Yes. Close your eyes and open your mind. The crystal ball shall reveal the truth. Now ask a yes or no question. Sorry, didn't catch that. Uh, uh, open Google Play Music. Open Google Play Music. The... Uh, open Google Play Music. So you're going to ask it to open up apps and stuff like that. Um, so you're going to ask it to open up apps, play music or anything like that. I won't play any music because of copyright issues and all that. So you can do a lot of things with Google Assistant here. So it's a, basically a better version of Google now. So um, it's more... So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm testing it out so far. I'm, I'm liking what I see so far on it. And, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool thing.
Um, so yeah, that's a good old system there on the LGB20. I got mine on, I got mine the other day, I got mine on Tuesday the, uh, 7th, so, um, yeah. Um, so you're gonna have to do a whole lot of things, like, you know, the whole different bonuses. So, so basically, this is an update to Google Now, and I think it's better than Google Now, so, um, yeah. It's pretty cool, and if you guys ain't gotten the update yet, you guys should be getting it soon. Um, it's gonna be available for Android Marshmallow and Android Nougat devices. So this will be pasting it in and it should come to your device if it hasn't already. It's pretty cool and when I like it a lot. And um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh yeah, so one well, just to keep in mind guys, like I said, it's gonna become the Android Marshmallow and Android Nougat devices, but your device has to have one point five gigabytes of RAM and a seven twenty P display for it to uh work. If you can if your device on that have those uh two things you will not get Google Assistant so just keep that in mind so uh yeah if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up guys will help me out a lot appreciate you can subscribe thank you very much for watching my video and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out